Did you know there's a benefit to letting your rabbits burrow in dirt? Today I'm going to tell you more about it. G'day there, I'm Dana from Pewakaka Valley Homestead and this video is part of a series I'm doing on keeping rabbits in colonies. Today I'm going to talk about seven surprising benefits of keep letting your rabbits dig in dirt. If you're keeping your rabbits in a colony like we are, chances are you're interested in the more natural environment for raising your rabbits. The next step to that is letting them burrow in dirt. Rabbits in the wild will naturally burrow to protect their young. They do a big deep hole and that's where they put their nest and then they come back out and they cover the front of it to protect them from predators. And there are some real merits to raising your own rabbits this way as well. Under the ground, is a really stable temperature. So if your area gets really, really hot or really, really cold, one of the benefits to burrowing deep down, they usually dig at least a couple of feet into the ground, is that the temperature down there is so much more stable. Wild rabbits thrived in their burrows long before we had climate control in their houses. The second reason is along with climate control, rabbits and burrows actually have protection from a lot of the elements as well. The beating hot sun, the blowing wind, the pouring rain, and as long as their houses aren't in a flood, flooding area, it's a really safe, secure place for the baby kits to survive. A dirt-based burrow is self-cleaning. When the baby kits do wee, it goes straight into the earth and it soaks away. If you're raising them in a plastic bucket or something like that, or even a metal container, one of those nesting kit boxes, that urine just sits there until someone cleans it out. The number four reason is also one of the reasons why I think colony raising is a really great idea for your rabbits, is because it stops us meddling in everything. How often do we fiddle faddle with stuff and we ruin it? We just need to let nature take its course with a lot of things. Letting rabbits survive in their burrows means that the healthiest, strongest cats will survive. The less we meddle in the affairs of the rabbits, the stronger our herd will become, the stronger their immunity will become, and the more resilient they will be. Now this doesn't mean that we ignore unwell animals, and it doesn't mean that we ignore suffering. If you have a, ah, sand flies. If you have a sick animal, it is well worth treating them. Treat them with some respect and kindness. Ha. However, if you're wise, you will not select those particular rabbits as breeding stock. The number five reason, and probably the main reason why rabbits naturally do it, is for pe predator protection. Overhead predators cannot fly into a burrow, and it gives somewhere safe for the mother rabbit to run to, and the baby rabbits to run to and hide really quickly. If you're raising your rabbits in an outdoor colony, I really do recommend that you protect them as best you can from predators. Letting them burrow is, is an extra level of protection. The number six benefit to letting your rabbits burrow in the earth is the fact that they can develop natural immunity. They're exposed to a lot more natural bugs. As we're, our science is expanding, we're realizing more and more how much we our health relies on the natural biota that we have in our guts and on our skin and all that sort of thing. Rabbits are no different. The more that they're exposed to it, the better their immune system will become. Some areas are known to have coccidiosis in the soil. Coccidiosis is a really common problem with rabbits in general, and it will hamper your meat rabbit growth and it can kill rabbits. Your rabbits can slowly develop a resistant to coccidiosis quite naturally, and the best way of doing this is to let your rabbits burrow and to cull off the unwell stock. Cull doesn't necessarily mean kill, it just means not to breed from them, and keep the rabbits that are thriving and doing the best. And this is the best way of building up a resistant breeding flock. And the number seven reason is that bunnies are just so much more happy if they can express this natural part of themselves. There are different ways you can add a digging area to your colony. If your rabbits are outside, you can just simply let them dig. Um, they like to dig somewhere secluded and safe, so often it'll be beside a shed or under a shed. So one of the ways you can distract them from doing that is to set up a few pallets or some rocks or some trees somewhere in the middle of your paddock that you have for your rabbits and they will tend to dig in under there. It is a rabbit's natural instincts to dig and hide and so if you can provide them with an opportunity to do that, they will thrive. If you've put down netting or your rabbits are inside, one way you can 
provide them with an opportunity to be digging is to put a mound of dirt within your colony. They may not necessarily burrow and make nests in there but it still gives them the freedom to be able to dig and flick the dirt around and it gives them the exposure to the bugs and they're getting all those other extra benefits. If you want to know more about raising rabbits in colonies, I really recommend you check out the book that I've put together. I put a link to it down in the description below. It's all about raising meat rabbits in colonies and it's just everything that I've gathered over the years and I've put it all down in one place to help you set up your own colony in your place. This video is part of a series on raising meat rabbits in colonies and I'll put a link for that up in the wherever it goes for all the other videos as I add them. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, hit the like button. Consider subscribing to our channel. We bring you videos twice a week on growing and preserving your own food and other homesteading bits and pieces. I'll see you in the next one.